Hello, George B back again. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. Another pansy patch, you would have seen one last Friday. Uh, Friday the... Whatever date it was. Can't remember. I know when you're watching this it'll be the 28th of May. And I know that because it's my granddaughter, oldest granddaughter's birthday and my second oldest great-grandson's birthday. He'll be two. The little devil that caused all the problems two years ago. But they're all fine now. Anyway, happy birthday Leanne and Jordan. Couldn't remember his name then. <laughs> right, to make this card... I used the Pansy Patch stamps. Now I have stamped and cut out all that I need and more I think. But I will do some more with you. I did some last week when I did the other card. That's when I cut all these out. But I will do some more because they'll come in handy. I have a guard base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, and scored the piece of white at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths go inside, and I have a piece of the pansy patch DSP, that's that on one side, and this on the other, and that will go there. No card, nothing underneath, just plain paper for a change. So, we will stamp, I'm going to stamp a pink one and a leaf and now and cut them out. So I need some white. Right, for the pansy I'm going to do two sorts. I've got polished pink, which that one is, and polished pink and man melon mambo. So let's open them both. And I need scrap of paper. And my stamps. Right, I've got the solid one. So I'm going to stamp off and stamp, stamp off and stamp and then I've got the top layer one which I'm going to just stamp that straight on like that. That's how I get that one and now I'm going to use Melon Mambo on this one and it will give a different colour and then I need this little one for the centre and I'm just using Mellow, uh, Lovely Lipstick on that one and Mellow Mambo on that one and then with my black stamp and write marker I am going to colour them in well let me show you what that little tiny tiny dot if I can find it oh, there it is um, take this leaf off Get my memento ink. And that is it. That is what that tiny dot does. I'm going to put it straight away back because it will just lose it. And to me that's too small for them big flowers. So what I do Let's just make it a bit bigger. So it's 
so you've got polished pink stamped off and full colour and this one you've got polished pink stamped off and then melon mambo right the leaves I'm going to do just with evening evergreen I am going to stamp the base but I'm going to stamp off and then stamp and then for the lines of the and that is what it's like in using evening evergreen now normally I do normally what I have been doing is using soft succulent then evening evergreen there's not much difference so it just depends if you want to have loads of ink pads open and then you have to cut these out now I haven't got the dies because as I think I said last week when I put my order in I ordered uh, the bundle for another stamp set which was hand painted petals and on this one I just ordered the stamps so when I put another order in I will have to get the dies even though they're quite easy to cut out as you can see because I'm cutting them out as I talk There we are. I'll not cut them two out, don't need them. Don't need these either, but that's them done. So I have got all these. I'll just use some. Now what I do want is this card. Because what I did on here, I stuck these on a piece of card. I don't need that much. I do and then stuck dimensionals on the back of that so we'll make our bouquet as I call it using the dies so I'm going to change this around a bit I'm going to put a purple one at the top and then this green one. This one's pool party. Yeah. Pool party there. And this yellow one. Just underneath there. And I'm going to put the pink one there and this pale pink one yeah I'm going to just stick that there and then at the bottom I've got a colour missing oh yellow I'm going to pop this one here Make sure it's not too big. I'm actually going to put this one straight. Right. Now then, we need to add some leaves. 
So I'm just going to randomly pick up leaves and I'm going to glue them to the poppies. Pansies, sorry. Just putting some on the inside as well. Hmm, that one must have been stuck on somewhere. them all the way round. Let's put a smaller one. I don't like that one. That one's nice. Oh, that's covering up that pink too much. There they are. So that will need to go that way to keep them on the page. And my sentiment from uh, many messages is just going to go there. So, oh, put the lid on that. And I need to glue this on here. noticed on this pack of cards that all my cards have got like a piece that's not been cut off properly better and this we're going to stick dimensionals on Lots of them. Do. and then we take all the backs off you see the side of my table there's hundreds of them because the last card I did had loads of dimensionals on like I said before when I'm filming I do three or four cards at a time go there so we need a dimensional on that end and some glue there right 
Right, all we've got left to do is add some gems. Um, added pearls to the last one. I think I will add um, oh, can't see oh here they are. I'm just gonna add crystals. How many have I got? Five, six, two, three, four, five, six. Right, I need another one. Can't have seven. Here's one. No, I can't have six, I should say. Three, six. Seven. There we are. them will be saved for another day in my um, maybe one day box. One day I am actually going to pull them all out and make a card from scratch on video. This is quite a lot and especially these past couple of days where I've been cutting and stamping and cutting the new stamps. Right, that is just my own stamp that I put in the middle for birthday cards. If you watch my videos, you will know I always do that on most birthday cards, anyway. So there we have it. Hope you like that. If you do, a good thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.